What's going on, everybody? My name is Shaquille Hunter, and this is my wife. Missy Hunter. Hunter's aid, coming to you again with another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how we became debt-free, and some of the methods that we took in becoming debt-free, just to share some light, you know, enlighten some people, what we did, how we did it, how we maneuvered out that debt and got that off our back. So with further ado, we're gonna get right into the video. Some of the debt that we had acquired over the time of just living life, being human beings, young and dumb, growing up, was student loans. We wanted a higher education, we thought school was the way, so we like, yeah, we finna go to school, get this, you know, I'm finna be a doctor, finna be a lawyer. No, we didn't even finish school. Sorry to tell you, yeah. I did, yeah. I got my degree, uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, I did, mm -hmm. yeah. So, with that being said, we had student loans piled up because you did finish your degree. Hooray, good job for you. Finish that degree, yes, good job. More, more power to you, finish your degree. May I get that degree. But we acquired student loans with those degrees. Um, another thing that we did was get a brand new, nice, pearl white beamer fresh off the lot. Thing was nice, <laughs> but that interest rate was stupid high and that had us pretty much buying two of them so and that was at a young age wasn't a smart decision that we made um, another thing that we did that wasn't a smart decision around that same time was we furnished the whole five bedroom house everything from the light shades to the outlets somebody wanted to customize it so we did it but we put it all on credit so that over time with the interest rate everything adding up you know they're gonna always upsell you when you think you're doing something they think you're a baller with credit card no no, high interest rate, and that acquired debt over time. So with that being said, we had to get that off of us. So here is some of the methods that we use and some of the practices, some of the tricks that we use, some of the things that we stumbled upon just by living life and acquiring through life um, to get the debt off of us. So let us know. All right, so we pretty much broke it down into three steps, right? The very first step we took was we had to change our mindset. We, you could not do anything with being simple-minded, I guess you could say. Excuse the background noise, we have a four-year-old. Um, so by changing our mindset, uh, we made big, big life decisions, uh, life-changing decisions. Like we talked about in our last video, we became minimalist. Um, and that's pretty much that. The second step we took was we changed our lifestyle, mm. all right? This cost us friends. It cost us a lot of, I'm not gonna say heartbreak, cause bump them people, cause you don't need those people in your life anyways. But we, we wanted to be around oh. the, the like-minded people, you know? Yeah, that's true, that's true story, true story, you do. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing is, we started writing down our goals, right? We started, I mean, everywhere. We posted them on the fridge, by our, by our bed, in the bathroom. And we, um, whenever we would get ready, you know, it boom, right there. It was always a reminder of where we were gonna go and the things we needed to do to get there. All right, so another thing, very important thing that we also did was we would go on what we call a blackout. Ooh, so, one of my favorites. Not even gonna lie, blackout is one of my favorites. Go ahead, let them know, let them know. One of my favorites. So to us, pretty much what we call a blackout is we got rid of all social media. Zero, none of it. No social media, Nothing. no, we put down our cell phones. All we did was study, family, and getting money. And we just completely blocked off all of the distractions. And we, we would do this, you know, uh, like let's say for a whole month, and then we would slowly get back into, you know, social media and stuff like mm -hmm. that, and then do it again. Yeah, we'll call that we're putting the blinders on. You put the yes. blinders on. You, you, Tunnel vision, you focus. You put them blinders on, and that's it. You just, you focus, you got a goal, you achieve that goal. Those blinders don't come off until you achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. Or you, at least more than halfway to that goal. Why are you taking them blinders off? Stay on the course, man. Y'all yes. keep it going. So, yeah. So, this also helps, you know, our marriage. Mm. Because money does cause a lot of turmoil in, in marriages sometimes. And... Once you take away those distractions and you just focus on your family and getting this paper, I mean, there's no stopping you. So 
that's another the our one of our favorite things that we did was mm -hmm. we did a blackout mm -hmm. all right so step three the third thing was once all of this was set in stone we started targeting debt mm -hmm. all right we used what is called the snowball effect some of you might have heard of it some of you may not this um the snowball effect all it is is you target your lowest cost of your loan so let's say you got three loans one thousand two thousand dollar loan and a uh four thousand dollar loan so first you want to hit your one thousand dollar loan and get rid of that while making minimum payments on your other two loans all right we used every every extra money that came in we used to put on that loan push it towards to get it tax out. season mm. everything to the to the debt yeah um so yeah, th those are pretty much the three steps. We can get into uh, the, the snowball effect, well, the snowball method, I guess you can say, um, more into detail if you guys want to. Yeah, that's gonna be the next video. The next video is gonna be about the snowball effect and how to effectively budget for it, how effectively put it in the plans and keep that plan moving. The snowball effect, you keep it going, you got to keep it going in order to grow, 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 boom. Knock all that debt out. Get it out of here. Because in order to be debt free and to save, you have to be consistent. Consistent is key. No more playing around with your debt. No more just letting it sit there. Uh, make the, no, let's get it out of there. Let's get it gone. Make the effort and stay consistent when getting rid of your debt was one of the biggest things that we couldn't give to you as we are going on this journey and finally becoming debt free stay consistent stay consistent and stay the course yes so with the snowball method i can uh i'll, I'll copy a link down below make sure you check it out it's an excel spreadsheet and you pretty much plug in all of your loans all of your debt how much you how much interest you pay on that loan and it has a link on there that which says which method you want to use hit the snowball method and it plugs everything in for you. So they'll tell you how much you need to pay towards each day and what you need to do in order to get rid of that debt. So I'll hook y'all up with that. Make sure you press the link, put your stuff in there. Tell me what you guys think about it. If you didn't really like it, let me know. If you did like it, let me know. And we'll go from there. Go from there. Appreciate y'all once again. Thank you for tuning in with us, listening to us, applying the methods. Like we said, we're just regular people, not financial agents, advisors, don't have no degree in finance, none of that. But we became debt-free, and we just want to share how we became debt-free. That's all that we're doing. Uh, thank you for liking, subscribing, comment, let us know. Please comment, drop the comments down there. Greatly appreciate it. So thank you for taking this journey with us. We'll see you next time.